Good afternoon LC people. Didn't start really till 11 o'clock. I uh, had a doctor's appointment this morning, so by the time I rolled in, it was getting on towards dinner. So, what did Dave do? I had to repair the loom that went into there. That little wiring harness, because some wires have been to just twisted together and taped up. So, I resolved all that, resoldered them, and shoved them back together. I am still waiting for decals. They'll go on. Then I'll just strip it and lacquer it and, and do that. And take the bits back off. Uh, I just put it together because I was that was the only loom, sub loom, wanted repairing. The other one's hiding down here somewhere, that one, for the other switch gear, for the indicators and what have you. So after that, spliced in another fuse box into this loom. It's had some repairs here and there on it. I put connectors on it here and there. That one for the mag. I've done the one on the mag. And obviously that one marries up for the loom. Uh, a few bits and pieces. It had a, it had a wash and a clean, the usual process. Um, what else can I tell you? A box of parts have arrived. Most of it's there. I'm still missing a few bits. I've emailed my supplier, messaged him about it. Blah de blah. They'll probably come in the next day. So still waiting on tyres and some decals for the switches and the ignition switch. David Morris, bless him. I rang him the other day. He makes these stems for the LC. They're hard to come by anyway. And they were 45 quid for the pair. But they're absolutely brilliant. He does fantastic work. He does them for 31k. I bought them off of him before. So if any of you guys are looking for those kind of things. 31k stems. LC stems. Contact David Morris. Down south somewhere. Great engineer. Um, so I put the indicators on the back subframe. They've gone on pattern ones, obviously, with the rubbers and those ones. Yeah, I've got the locks to have a look at. Uh, various other things. Obviously, I'm still waiting on tyres. I wanted to pull it out, but it's been diary today. It's been raining all day. So I haven't really got uh, as far as I would have liked. But there you go. I'm dictated by the weather in my small space. Yeah, get a bigger shed. Can't. If I could, I would. Communal gardens. So I'm lucky to have this at all. The Grenfell thing allowed me to have this because nobody was allowed anything on the staircases after that fire. Um, but luckily, I had some leverage with the council because I tidied and do the front gardens. And uh, that was my leverage to get my shed in, in the first place. So, yeah, that's what that's all about. Um, it was funny, I was thinking, small spaces and what you can do in them. Uh, it was several years ago, I think I was a teenager at the time, and we'd gone skeggy on his fizzes and mopeds or whatever it was. And there was a guy there with an RD125 twin, and he'd got the clutch cover off it in the middle of the sodding field because the spring had gone on his selector shaft. It selects the gears. And it just it just came back to me that uh, people do things in the most remote places to fix the bikes, don't they? Uh, when I was in York earlier on this year, we'd gone to Scarborough and uh, we went to York for down the bus and there was this guy with an Honda uh, off-road bike, off bike, adventure bike, old bike it was. He was in his 30s and uh, he was messing about with it. We walked around York, come back. He was still messing about with this. He says, what's going on? He says, is he broke down? He says, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing some average repairs. I says, what do you mean? He said, my wife goes to uh, the tech college or the university across the road from this public car park. And he says, I come here all the time. Once a week, he says, I come. She goes there, moist in there, mess about with me bike. Good on you. Good lad. Uh, so, no, you can do things in little spaces. So, if anybody says you can't, <laughs> I'm living proof you can. And all these other people in remote places doing things. Small, compact and bijou. Anyway, folks, this is your part three of the Newcastle 350 OC. Alright folks, I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Dilly dilly.